What is going on guys? Daniel here with Lit Pro, and today we're gonna to go over the basics of Lit Pro's newest feature, Vision. So first off, before we even jump into the app, we're gonna want, want to get some video clips at the track. You're just gonna use your normal phone, the native app, and landscape mode, so turn your phone sideways, and get someone to take video of you, or you and a buddy, or however you wanna do it, through a corner. Try and stand perfectly still, about 15 second clips, run your phone in 4K 60 frames per second, that's gonna give you the best results. Take a video of you through the corner, take a video of you through the corner a second time. Or you versus your best buddy who might be a little bit faster than you and see how you can make up time on him. Once you have those clips, we're gonna jump into the app here. I'm screen sharing or screen recording. Add session, jump into vision. We're gonna go into landscape, choose two videos. You can see I have you know videos of my kid and stuff here, but we have the ones here. If you click into options, you can actually tag the rider. Oops, I click the that button tag the rider, so I'm gonna tag myself, and then you'll see in it now, it shows my little emblem in the bottom right corner of that, showing that I am the rider in the video. So it just keeps things a little more organized and easier to uh, throw into the app. Then we're gonna go ahead and click begin, and now we're starting the frame lock. So what the frame lock is, throughout the video, you wanna sync up things. That's the whole point of this, is that we're syncing it up. So I'm gonna go about halfway through this clip, which is just two corners, a, a right and then a left, and I'm going to line up, let's see here, in the very far background, there is a white water tower. I'm gonna to zoom in on it for you guys, but the very tip of my visor, I'm lining right up with that. So I'm gonna line it up in both clips, nice and precise, run that back, right there. So I'm gonna set my middle lock, got it, next. Now we're gonna start to do the first frame lock. So I'm gonna use that telephone pole, kinda of line it up right with the top of my head. Right there. And right there. So set the start, got it next, and now we're gonna start, or we're gonna set the end lock. So then there's kind of a telephone pole, power pole, I'm not sure exactly what that is. In the distance, I'm gonna line that up once again with my head. So that's lined up really nicely. And uh, so we just set that. So we have first, middle, and end, the start, middle, and end. You can add more frame locks if you'd like. Three is the minimum, start, middle, end, but you can add more if you want it to be synced up even better. But three is the minimum and works well. So we're gonna got it next. I'm gonna go ahead and skip the rider tracking. The rider tracking is the AI portion of it. We'll get to it in a second, but just to show you guys what's possible even without the rider tracking. So we don't have all the settings available. You can see auto zoom and overlay aren't available, but we can still sync by position or sync by time. So when we come into this corner, we're coming in equal, Run it back to the start here, and we're gonna play it. So staying nice and equal through that, we get a little bit faster on the bottom clip, and out of the corner, 0.3 of a second faster. But why are we faster? Excuse that, let me put my focus on. Why are we faster through that corner? So that's where we can begin to break it down. So right now, we're sunk on position, so I'm gonna leave it right here. The rider and the bike is lined up. If I click on the time, you can actually see where I jump ahead just that little bit on that bottom clip. That's how much further ahead I am. It's not much in this instance. I hit the corners pretty well, pretty similar, but as the, by the time we get out of the corner, you know, that's about a bike length. That's a, that's a good chunk of time on a dirt bike track. So we can, we can scroll through this. If you wanna zoom in, you can just pinch just like you're used to on your phone, like normal zoom in, put it back to the position and just really analyze looking at that. You can use your slow-mo, come into the corner, see where you're faster, see how your foot's coming out, your leg's coming out, kind of dab on that bottom one. Could have been a bit better. Bit better. So now we are gonna run it back and we're actually going to throw in our rider tracking. So edit, and now we can do our rider tracking. So we're gonna run the rider tracking and what you can see here, it's setting the auto zoom, it's the AI doing what the AI does. So if you have more than one rider on the screen, it's possible that that rider tracking is gonna miss or move over. If you go behind a tree or behind a jump or something, uh, the app will lose you and not be able to track you quite as well. So it's very important when you're, you're filming these, you have someone filming it, keeps the rider in screen throughout the whole uh, duration of the clip. And there we go, we ran it through, so we got it. And now we have all of our options available. So we can do an auto zoom, and we can also overlay. So now we're gonna run it back, and now it's gonna stay zoomed in, 
And this is really, really nice because as we come into the corner here, we're able to like break down and see when the foot comes out. My feet stayed on the pegs on that one. Coming to this corner, you can see when my foot comes out. Like I said, these are pretty well matched, but even right here on the top clip, my left foot's already coming out and the bottom, I'm not quite there yet. And then I put it out a little bit later. Coming into the corner, you can see when you get on the gas and it just puts everything in perspective, is nice and zoomed in. So if you're shifting up or you're hitting that rear brake or grabbing the clutch or grabbing your front brake, um, as long as the camera's on that side of the footage, you're able to break down and see where these changes are making. So you can watch yourself versus someone else through the corner and you can say, why are they so much faster than me? This, the vision on Lit Pro is gonna be able to answer that question. You can watch it through a bit. That's where they're making up time. My suspension is bucking my rear end. They're not getting bucked going into the corner. And when you adjust these things, you're able to make up time. So once again, we can turn it to sync position by the position or by the time, as you can see, not much changing on this one. And then we can also throw on an overlay. So it just puts the bikes and the rider right on top of each other. So once again, as, as we come into the corner, we can run it in slow-mo and you can really just see Little drop, little changes. Again, the foot coming out there, and then my uh, my foot on the other clip coming out, and you can just really judge your body position. My helmet's a little bit further forward in one than the other, and uh, really just see how you're differing one one time versus the other. Or of course, if it's you versus another rider, how you guys are hitting the corner differently. So that's really just the breakdown of what all you can do. Of course, you can play, you can change your overlay, you can change your auto zoom, you can change the position and just really take your time to break down clips. And then if you think this one is awesome and you wanna put it up on your Instagram, hit the gears up in the corner, go into share, and then you're able to hit render to video, save it to your device, upload it to Instagram, send it to your best friend, send it to your buddy who you're faster than, rub it in a little bit, or uh, just challenge yourself to pick up some speed. So really cool Lit Pro Vision. Check it out, litprolive.com. Download the app in the App Store, start creating your own clips, get a little bit faster out there. Have some fun with it.